All right, guys, well, I'm back today with one of my go-to weapons lights if I am not on a budget. And I want to stress that very strongly for this review. Generally on this channel, I review high value and budget items that actually work, but I do need to compare them to the top tier or premium items to see the differences and to see if it's worth spending the extra money. Today, we're actually looking at the Surefire Dual Fuel Scout Light Pro, and this is an impressive weapons light. And if I had to pick one to put on an AR platform, especially a more premium setup like this right here, this is the light I'm going with every single time because of a ton of features but it will not be cheap before we get too far into the review i do want to give a huge shout out to optics planet for actually sending this out to the channel for us to try this allows me to try a ton of different things they also included the coupon code 704 tac or 704 tac for five percent off your optics planet order they're also sending me a ton of other items to review that allows me to compare and contrast to see if it's worth spending the extra money Spoiler alert, on the Surefire, if you have the roughly $300 to spend and maybe an extra $100 for the pressure switch, making it about a $425 total for the light, it's worth it. But is it for everybody? Probably not. I've reviewed a ton of other lights on the channel in the past that serve everyday purposes, but if you want something battle-ready, battle-tested for a duty rifle and you don't mind spending about $425 on a light, this is the light I'm personally picking because of all the features, and we'll talk about those in a second. Before we get finished with the review of this light, I do want to give a huge shout out to Callaway Ballistics for sending over the 223 to help make this video. They also just updated the 704 tactical code. It's still the same code, but now it not only is it good for free shipping on orders over $200, it's good for 5% off and free shipping on orders over $200. And they just did a massive 9mm price drop, allowing you to get a 50 round box of 9 mil for under $11 a box and free shipping again on orders over $200. Definitely check them out. Now, what makes this light unique is the fact that it puts out a blinding 12 to 1500 lumens depending on which battery type you're using. You can use the included 18650 USB-C rechargeable battery, which is already inside, so you can pull that battery out and plug and charge in the battery. Or you can use the 123A batteries and get a 1.25 hour battery life. So it's got a good runtime and it also has a good 1500 to 1200 lumens depending on the battery you use. So it's nice that they kind of list that out. It also has a hybrid beam built into here so it can throw it up to 250 meters, but it also kind of has a floodlight effect built in. It also includes two mounts in the box. So it's got the 1913 pick mount or the M-Lock mount, and it allows it to swivel up and down on the rail system. Now, because of YouTube's policies, I can't show you this, um, write a letter to YouTube, but um, it is what it is. But this allows you to hug it up against the rail perfectly, and this is one of my favorite features of this light. Look how slim and streamlined this is. It's not going to get caught on a ton of different things. If you've got slings, plate carriers, you're getting in and out of a car. And that allows it to mate up perfectly for whatever rail you want. One of the cons, though, it only comes with a, a pressure, not a pressure switch, but a tail cap in the box. Now that tail cap works out great, but if you wanted to do an offset mount and use a pressure switch, I actually bought this one independently. You can buy them on Optics Planet's site and the Optics Planet code 704TAC is still going to be valid on this switch, but I purchased this separately for right around a little over $100. Now it runs with a ton of different little end caps and pressure switches and it discusses that inside the box itself. So you can utilize each one of these to run the light and that's one of my other favorite features about this light over a ton of other lights in the market is the fact that it's insanely versatile and these mounting switches and pressure pads have been around for a while so occasionally you can find them used or you can buy them online and you can save yourself some money depending on which version you want so that is pretty nice right there if you want more information about the actual uh, light itself you can head over to optics planet's website and take a look at their full list of specs and features but this is built like a tank with the aluminum that they use on the body 
Under recoil, this does not skip on and on. It does not shutter on or off. Um, and keeping the batteries inside the light, it doesn't like have a vampire effect over time. It actually holds on, which is another nice touch about these lights over other lights on the market. But again, we are talking about a 425 ish dollar setup, which you're looking at here. Now these generally sell for about 350 for the lights or 370 for the lights, excuse me. But Optics Planet has them on sale for right around 306. Then add my code and get it sub $300. I also love the fact that it's streamlined, it's compact, it works every time you need it to work, and it is a solid option for a premium top tier product. Now there are others on the market, but the fact that this one is so versatile with its body, its head selection, its mounting, and you can get a ton of different scout mounting options for this light. So all of that information um, and linking if I can, will be in the description below for what I discussed. I also have a campsite page, which is an aggregate site of all the best deals I find online. I also have a Patreon page, an Instagram page, and a Twitter page to post a ton of different deals. And don't forget that calorie ballistics code as well to save yourself on ammo. A huge shout out to Optics Planet for sending this out. These guys are always supporting the channel and it allows me to reference top tier premium products with budget products to let you guys know whether it's worth it or not. Am I going to sell or get rid of a lot of other lights to put this one on every single rifle build? Absolutely not. There are places for a lower price lights in my arsenal. But is it nice to have just that one premium go-to build? Yeah, if you can spring a little bit more for like the Daniel Defense Upper Assembly and maybe a premium optic and a nice premium light, it's nice to have that kind of one go-to top tier rifle to take to classes for duty use or for that personal defense option if you can afford to spend the extra bucks. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one.